Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about conditional statements instructions. Conditional instructions are used to condition, check if something happened. Conditional instructions let us execute, perform some block of instructions only if some requirements are met. Ok, so if the condition is met, which means condition is true, which also means that it is not equal to zero, some block of code will be executed, otherwise the code will be omitted, skipped. In programming language, it looks like that. For example, let's write following code. int a beam. And now let's ask our user for the variable a. Now let's ask for variable beam. Now let's take it from the input. And now I want to execute some code only if, for example, value of variable A is greater than value of variable B. We don't know what values will be stored in that variables because that values will be assigned by user of our program, right? So, that's why it would be nice if we could, for example, check this situation. OK, so I will use conditional statement, which looks like that. If parentheses and inside parentheses, I will write condition. And condition is just anything that can be as final result 0 or any other number. So for example, any expression. So if I write a is greater than b and after it I will write any instruction that will be executed only if that condition is met so for example C out a is greater than b so we are sure that we can tell our user that A is greater than B because that condition must be met in order to run the instruction here so now I can compile that guy and I will enter A for example as 10 and enter B as 7 and as you can see that instruction is now here on our output, so 10 is greater than B. Okay, so, so so everything was okay. But um, what when I run it again? And now I will type, for example, 4, and now I will type, for example, 25. As you can see, that instruction was omitted, was skipped, right? because A is not greater than B well wasn't greater than B now we'll test a few more things and that thing would slow us a bit so let's just comment this mm, let's comment the things here and let's do something like that if 7 is greater than 4 see out something okay and now let's see out here tests what do I want to tell you now look what if I wanted to execute more than one line of code only if that guy here if that expression if that condition is met now as you can see both of the instruction got executed and it's okay but what if I do something like that 4 is uh, 4 is greater than 7 only that guy will be executed, right? 
it might be a bit confusing when I write it that way. Still, only that guy will be executed. Test. But what if I want to execute that guy only when this condition is met? I need to use something like brackets. Brackets are used to group many instructions. So as you can see we have got here brackets, opening one and closing one. And that brackets are used to group that instructions here. That brackets here opening and closing one are here to group that instruction here. Because of that brackets that two instructions here are treated like the one instruction. That's why now when I build this program as you can see both instruction weren't shown. Okay. Now uh, as I said earlier anything anything right that is not equal to zero is true so condition above is surely not equal to zero as you can see this thing that instruction got executed. Okay, we can use also not only relational operators but we can use the logical operators. So I can do something like that. If, for example, 7 is lower than 4 or 0 is lower than 10 show let's show that thing here for example and tell me um, about that instruction will it be run executed yes because is 0 lower than 10 yes it's lower than 10 and this is alternative this is disjunction so we uh, we don't need to think about that guy even even if it is false uh, the result of that operation will be one and away, right? If you don't understand it, please repeat the subject about the logical operators. Okay. As you can see, everything is working fine. Now let's maybe make it a bit more confusing. Now I will add for example here conjunction and I will say and 10 is equal to 9. That thing as a result will give us 0. That thing as a result will give us 1. Conjunction is true only if both expressions are true or one, right? So, as you can see, um, the result, a final result is zero, and now when we build it, we cannot see that guy here. Okay, there were some exercises. Now I want to tell you about something very important. Uh, let's comment that thing here now. And let's back to that guy here. Uh, we'll assign values by our sets for example like that and what would happen oops what would happen if I wanted to for example do something else when that condition is not met then 
I can do something like that, else. Add here else and say the condition A is greater than B surely wasn't met. Right? And now is 100 greater than 10? Of course it's greater than 10. So this instruction is executed, but when I do, for example, that thing, as you can see, the condition A is greater than B surely wasn't met. But we can do other things. For example, I can do something like that. Else if A is lower than B, C out A is lower than B. And now I should change this guy. Condition A is greater than B surely wasn't met, and the condition A lower than B surely wasn't met. Uh, met. That instruction is executed only if all of the conditions were rent met. So right now as you can see minus 4 is lower than uh, is smaller than 10 and that instruction was executed but if I want to execute that guy it must be that, that condition cannot be met and that condition cannot be met so when uh, will it happen? When the two variables are equal, right? So that instruction is executed only if all of the conditions weren't met. Maybe I should change this thing. That instruction will be executed only if all of the conditions weren't met. Okay. So as you have probably noticed, we don't need to use that else if or else thing. We can use as many else if here as we want to check many other things, right? And that instruction after else will be executed only when all of the conditions aren't met. And we should also know that we can nest so we can have many conditional statements when we use brackets we can have nested conditional instructions for example that way now I can for example check if A is lower than, for example, 10, A is, I'm sorry, smaller, A is smaller than 10. Now, when we build it, as you can see that variables are equal, but I can do, for example, something like that, and now uh, we will execute that guy here. 10 is smaller than 20, but this thing wasn't executed because A is equal to 10. It is not smaller than 10. Now when I do something like that, as you can see everything is working fine. So we can nest our conditional statements. Okay, so since today we can decide what we want to execute. And that's all in this lesson. Thank you very much.